Hi everybody, welcome back. In today's problem, we're going to go ahead and do a steady state calculation for the dosing scenario of intermittent IV infusions. So here's the case scenario. A patient is given 192 milligrams per hour over 30 minutes of drug B intravenously every 12 hours until steady state is achieved. Given the following pharmacokinetic constants, including an elimination rate of 0.172 hours to the negative one, and a volume of distribution equal to 44 liters, what is the concentration at the end of an infusion at steady state? So to do this, we're gonna use a special equation for intermittent intravenous infusion scenarios, which is the following, specifically at steady state. And this equation includes the infusion rate, K0, or K sub 0, the elimination rate and the volume of distribution on the left side of the equation. On the right side of the equation, we have what I've gone over in another video called the multiple dosing factor, specifically made into the form for steady state, which includes 1 minus the exponential of the negative elimination rate constant times T prime, which would be the infusion time over one minus e to the negative elimination rate times tau, which is the dosing interval. So let's go ahead and plug in the variables where we can to hopefully figure out the answer. Okay, so we have 192 milligrams per hour is our K naught, that's the infusion rate. And we have our elimination rate and our volume of distribution below that. On the right side of the equation, we have 0.5 hours, which is our infusion time or T prime. And that's because we were told it's given over 30 minutes. So I can do that conversion and you probably can too in your head pretty quickly that 30 minutes is 0.5 of an hour. Again, because we want to make our units match. In the bottom part of the equation we have the exponent again to the elimination rate constant times 12 hours because we're told the drug is given every 12 hours. So that is our interval for dosing. So now again if we calculate all of this and put it into our calculator very carefully the final answer we'll get it's 2.39 milligrams per liter, which is really our C max at the end of an infusion at steady state. So there you have it, pretty straightforward. When we're at steady state, we incorporate the infusion rate along with tau and infusion time, if it's an intermittent infusion, to calculate a given concentration. Thank you for your attention.